Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Bragg from Braggio hey. and Ben from Nolan TCG. Team Sam won an ex uh, YCS before Jake did. Oh yeah, I forgot about cool. that. He's also a fat-headed moron before Jake is, so good on him. Anyway, how was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh! Bragg? From one fat-headed moron to another. <laughs> uh, quiet week? Oh yeah, um, yeah, waited out the Tenpai release. I'm pretty sure I might. I'm not sure if it was in the questions, but it's expensive. Shocking. Very expensive. We'll get to that when the news. And yeah, so just grinding out with that, playing a few cash tier cards in there. You know, easy wins. Easy wins. Actually? Yeah. yeah. It's Tenpai. Yeah. yeah. Silent Monster. Off a handshake. Yeah. yeah. I'm right. sure people just scoop the moment you, like, fucking go board wipe. Summon Vidra. Like, I mean, like, this is, this is silver, so. Mm. I dropped so far, like, it was, yeah, all I was doing is Jewelers Cups and no ladder. I was so, done shit in ages. I wonder if you'll be down to the uh, rookie or whatever it is. No idea. Could be. Rookie? Beginner? Be fun to see. What it? Could be content worthy. Get back from rookie mm. on some sort of FTK that's legal. Ah, I'm sure it's not lady. When the samurai Maybe. Is. I mean, you go up to gold pretty quick. Like, you're pretty much just one and done in the lower ranks. You win a duel, you rank up. Yeah. Yep. It's too long. <laughs> Mance has other things to do, like rush duel. Yeah. That was doing Which that. is ludicrously yeah. more expensive and mm. far less rewarding. In the car today, I was like, rush duel, rush duel, rush duel, rush duel, rush duel, rush duel, rush duel. The new fusion deck is so good. They finally released the patch that fixed the skill issue. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> can this. I can I have that, please? <laughs> I would <laughs> like to fix my skill issue. <laughs> so now I actually get like the fusion skill. It's great. Just if you have Roadstar on field, you either add the other fusion material or the poly. It's like sick, awesome. Off to the races I go. Use my four thousand attack monster close to every turn. Must be nice. <laughs> yeah. What else have been going on all week, Ben? Uh, I came dead last at locals because I tried to have fun. Yeah, no, don't do that. I'm not doing that no more. I will have Although, revenge. you tried to have fun, but I would say in the wrong way. Why? I think with some tweaks, your fun could be fun. Yeah, yeah, 60 cards is not the way to go. Nah. No. Nah. Suck. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can't wait to these, those, that locals. Did you do any matches on stream? Yeah. Camera. The I, one... think, I think the most recent one that went yeah, up one was up. one of his replays. The one time I, like, finally established some form of control, I committed, like, everything I had to leaving Lucas with, like, two cards in hand. And he's like, anyway, one of them was another copy of Birth. I win. And I was like, sick. Oh. Awesome. Cool. All that effort in Birth just gets three materials back. It's so fun. Oh. That's so dark. I think, like I said, I think there's a way with some tweaks that you can have fun. I'm not touching that deck ever again. That's another of Den's, Ben's pet decks ridden off into without, the sunset. Without Ruin Token. Dragon Maid is dead until the new support gets announced from the OCG, perhaps, if it's any good. Paleozoic is dead because Ronan's dead and Ben doesn't want to, like, theory craft on new Yeah, without new Ronan versions. Totem, it's, it's not, not there. I need Ronan Toten back. I miss you. Know. Miss you every day. Again, I don't think you do. Mm. I think you're just very reliant. Just ban subs the Toad and bring back Ronan Toten. Yeah. Uh, they should never have done the switch. No. I can understand the switch, though. No, 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 no. None of <laughs> this shit. Because they did the switch, and then just printed more ways to make Toad in that deck. And it's like, sick. Awesome. You guys banned Ronan and Toad and for literally no reason. Because they were like, guys, Ronan and Toad is banned. Three months later, they're like, check out this Ice Barrier engine, though. It does the same thing. Yeah. It's like, well, why don't you do that? Because you can't recur that in a frog control deck. <laughs> I don't know. I think you're giving up too soon, personally, but okay. I don't think I'm going to be able to convince you otherwise. So, uh, better things to play now. Like? Like FTK. <laughs> ah, yes, of course. That's legal. Yes. Awesome. Looking forward to it. Anyway, uh, for I, my... I did make a decision on my FTK deck. I was wasting space. So now it is pure FTK. None of this fucking around. Made it more consistent. Oh, so it's FTK or bust? You cut hand trap. Uh... Well, that was the thing, like, if you, you always get to a point where you just kind of choose what you want. So, that is kind of the way to go. Because, like, there's no point of doing the other way. 
because if you're not doing the other way, then you're FTKing anyway. Hmm. Okay. So I'm cutting the other shit, putting in more cards to protect from things like getting unicorned. Because I was just playing one Sayuya, and I was like, no, at least two is required. So. But now he's not going to banish your Sayuja. I'm going to banish three. something else. I'm just going to play three. I like that we say he because there's only one person that's going to do that. I'm just going to play three of every card. Every card that's useful is going to be at three, and all the useless shit is going to be at one. Three SP. Granted, discussing this on the podcast means it's not a secret, but let's pretend it is. What if you just play like a bunch of like really powerful looking cards at one as like bait? Yes. Yeah. Mm. That's called the link package. Yes. Yes. Pretend you didn't hear that. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's upcoming. Um, so look forward to losing to that. Uh, my week. So um, still playing uh, 60 card, no hand tier, trap. Light Sworn, uh, Fiend Smith. There's one hand trap. It's Nib. No. I mean, oh. Nib's in the side. It's Gamma. <laughs> Literally <laughs> one. <laughs> Literally one hand trap. It came up. It has come up. That's fucked. The one time you had it against me, I was just like, I'm not playing into this. <laughs> what can you do? Anyway, I'm still having a shitload of fun. Um, <laughs> I really am. At least someone is. Gamba's, Gamba fun. Yeah. Um, I'm getting better with the interactions of like knowing when to trigger what and all that kind of stuff. Um, so like being able to play through a bit more now, which is good. Um, the deck is still inherently flawed, but what can you do? The important thing is I'm having fun. Although now that there's a set out that I could use the store credit to buy the, to then get the fucking hand traps that are ludicrously expensive, I probably should the fluffy uh, hand trapping. less on the side of having fun and more on the side of getting store credit. We'll see how we go. As if you're not just going to pull more mermals. I mean, potentially. Woo! We'll see how we go. Uh, and then in Master Duel, um, I was playing a couple of games of Master Duel last night. Um, I am concerned, though, that the Hawkist <laughs> is not in a position where if it was to verse a Tempai, which it hasn't yet, but if it were to verse a Tempai, it may not be able to play through what they can do. So that is a concern. So I may have to look into that as I move through the ladder this season, I guess. Is there not like a rank 8 you can make that stops that deck? <laughs> a rank 8 that can't just draw a battle or card effect. I'm drawing blanks here. Just put that in mind. It could be just a one-off card you put in your extra deck and you're like, I'll just shit this out and see what happens. Illusion rank 8 win. The other thing you could do depending, is um, use uh, more of the Horus engine and um, set up that rank 8 that's like neither player can summon from the grave and just sit on sort of IP, the counter trap, and the thing that stops grave summoning. The thing that stops specifically one dragon, or two dragon. two dragon. Well, they can't then do the whole synchro nonsense. Like, it does hamper them somewhat. The other thing I could do is just put in, like, um, uh, the dragon. trap thingy? DD Chrome. I mean, yeah, that too. But more so the um, Rise to Full Height and just do that nonsense oh. with IP. Oh, yeah, if you're milling yeah. cards, just play Rise. Yeah. Yeah, just I think, I, think I might just do that. Sprinkle <laughs> the Rise. Um, yeah, so those are some things. Um... And yeah, I should play it more Unchained because it's more consistent, uh, but it's not fun. Yeah. Well, I'm it is right fun, but yeah. less fun than um, sending shit to bin and hoping for the best. Can't be more fun than Tempai. Well, it's more fun than trying to buy Tempai. Yeah, it, look, it is expensive, but it's not that bad. It's just, if you had seven, if you had 7,000 gems, this wouldn't be a problem. See, you could jump in with Tempai. I know how much you loved that deck when it was in your hands. I don't remember you yes. hated it, didn't you? Yes, he did. <laughs> what? Tempai. You weren't a big enjoyer of Tempai. I didn't like new like it after the ban list with the one fucking field spell. Well, I don't know. I seemingly oh. had a habit in that deck of opening a bunch of useless. Like I just opened five dragons and be like, "This isn't how it's supposed to work at all." Okay. Anyway. Anyway. Door um, door on that uh, are there from the beginning as well. And it's Roku. 
So speaking of uh, Master Duel uh, and the Tempai Dragons, they have now been released as of Thursday. Um, so oh. the pack includes uh, the Tempais, uh, the Ritual Beasts, uh, and the Infernoids, and the Goblin Bikers. That's another deck you can I play. I was actually, that was one of the <laughs> couple of decks I was versing last night, actually, is um, the thing I just said, Goblin Bikers. Uh, they lost a the time. <laughs> they were <laughs> trying to do too many things. Uh, and Ritual Beast scares the shit out of me. It's fine. It's one of those decks Definitely where they're going to normal summon Elder, and I'm going to scoop, not because I don't no, think I... Did it, did it, not because I don't think I can beat their board, but because I don't want to have to watch them for that long. They can't generate their board in five minutes. Don't that is one thing as well, is that, like, they can't do the TCG slash OCG thing of, like, banish summon, banish summon, banish summon for that long because they just don't have the time. But if they summon... Is also, is Ulti Cannonhawk still at one, or is it at three? I in don't Master remember Ball. seeing the banlist thing about it because I pulled one. Okay. That's okay. true. I do not know. Just, just thought I'd throw that out there. Uh, anyway, they also reprinted Uranus. Excuse me? I don't know, I made it up. Uranus. Uh, they've got a new bundle in there for you to purchase oh, as yeah. well uh, the Ghost Bell bundle. So, uh, 750 gems for 10 Master Packs and a copy of Ghost Bell. So, that's yep. a nice little value deal. Yeah, I don't actually know if I have Ghost Bells in this game. Yeah, I can't remember if I... I think I may have crafted them and then uncrafted them because, like, the meta just sort of fell off for Ghost Bell. Um, Ghost Bell main's kind of rough. How do you guys, like, have to decraft shit in that game? You have... You aren't playing. You could have 10 billion gems and it wouldn't matter. So yeah. shut the fuck uh, up. I only decraft Asbestos. I haven't decrafted, like... I had to... I mean, I had to kill Exorcisters, like, to do a deck a month or two ago. In terms of like an entire deck decraft, the only one that I've done recently is Snake Eyes and Cash Terror. Coward. And that's purely because the decks bored the fuck out of me. Although I still do have one Fenrir for a deck. I, I um, I'll, like I will not disenchant any of that because it's just, you can slide into anything. That's... It'll get hit on a list eventually and then, hey, hey bonus gems. <laughs> Which, Where, what's the window? Okay, did Poplar get hit? I'm going to... Poplar did get limited this week. In the most right? recent ban list. Yes. yes. So why... Is it only because it was limited I don't get extra creds? Correct. It wasn't banned. I hate you, Jerome. <laughs> I think this one, to be fair, is out of Jerome's hands. This it's one is very much in Jerome's hands. Is it? Um, is he in those hands? What? Uh, uh, also I in my... I mean, I would have seen him play the game before. Come on, man. Anyway, we also have a couple of new assets. Uh, we have a uh, Ruins of Sinful Spoils field. Looks very cool. Oh, yeah. It's got, um, for the opponent's side, it has like uh, Flame Burge or Twisted Up and he like puts his head over the graveyard and blows some blue fire. Uh, and then on your side, uh, there's Snake Eyes, the Arbol Star, the, the big one. And he real big. He huge. It's actually quite funny. Huge. Uh, and then there's also sleeves for uh, Ritual Beasts, so it's like... Boo! Ultra Cannon Hall Oh, and Thanks. a Sungen Summoning icon as well, just a little tile. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Oh, and then uh, also a Sungen Kaiho background as well. Many Dragon. Oh, oh no. Um, what is it at the moment? Actually, I think it's Flame Burge at the moment. It's that Promethean for ages. And before that was... Goldmord. Oh, the Lord, of course. I don't think I've changed mine from um, Dingyusu for a long time. Um, I have mine just never ever set, so it just kind of chooses any card. Yeah, yeah. Any one that I've got. Are you I, talking about the very start menu or the one I, that you open up as I you don't go know. in? I've never acknowledged either, so it would okay. just be so set to default. When you open it up, it does rotate through a bunch of stuff. Yep. But when you're in your main menu, it'll default to like a static default one. So okay. there will be a default one, but as you said, you're not paying enough attention to know. Yes. Sure. Cool. Uh, so moving on, we That's have fantastic. some announcements of a whole bunch of support for a whole bunch of decks. So let's start with uh, Tenyi. 
getting some surprise support in Supreme Darkness. Yeah. Um, so they get an extender, just summons itself if there's a worm on field or in Banished. Worm. Um, and then uh, summons a link monster when it's sent to the graveyard, uh, synchro material, because it's a tuner. And the link can't be used as link material? Uh, it can't be used as link material, and you lose life points equal to its link rating times a thousand. It seemed like a strange extension piece. Because, like, I'm assuming it's supposed to send out... Because it doesn't negate the effects. So Correct. it's supposed to put the link to back out. Correct. That you can then discard and summon back another. Yes. Eh. I, I quite like it. And even if you're feeling brave and halving your life points, you can summon out the link four that's like protects all your um, effect monsters if you have another uh, monster on board. I thought you were going to say summon out the best tiny monster. Destrudo. Destrudo. Did you mean Meme? You get that off the Yazi. Yeah, you get there eventually. Yeah. Uh, Go through all the best cards that Tenyi have. And then they get a Light Synchro, uh, which is uh, Tenyi Spirit Mula Adhara. Uh, so if this card is Synchro summoned and you have two or more Worm Monsters in your graveyard or banished, you can add a Field Spell from your deck to your hand. Why does it want money? Hmm? Is it a money dragon? Oh, There's a lot of gold. Well, it's just Adhara, but with a dude. Yeah, yes, that's Mula. That means money. Uh, and this card gains the effects while there is a non-effect monster on the field. Cannot be destroyed by opponent's card effects. Cannot target this card with card effects and can make a second attack during each battle phase. Mm. Uh, and then to justify its random field spell search, there is a new uh, tenure field spell, Eternal Perfection. Um, when this card resolves, add a Vessel of Dragon Cycle or Heavenly Dragon Circle from your deck to your hand. This was good. That was very good. And then Tribute Worm Monster, target monster on the field, destroy it. Just some that random removal. That fine. Uh, and then tribute. No, oh, hang on. No, so once per turn during your end phase, send this card to the graveyard and then place a flawless protection or oh, per perfection of the tenyi from your deck or graveyard face up in your field zone. That's not necessary. It's kind of cute, but yeah, I wouldn't say super necessary. Adding the quick play is the best thing that that does. Yeah, adding either of them because um, dragon cycle is actually really good too. Yeah, both very good. I was thinking about a dragon on a bike. Don't worry about me. <laughs> oh, but if these are worms, they don't have hands. Yeah, you can, you can Look, Ma, no hands. That's <laughs> a childhood memory. Uh, and then, the next <laughs> bit of support we have is the second iteration of Mermau slash Atlantean. Mermau. Uh, it was nice to see that they get a, another run. Well, these good. They're not bad. So, How do you, do you give me a better response than they're not bad? Well, the thing is, I've only watched a couple of replays and, like, they're kind of just extra pieces for extension more than anything else. Like, they're not end board pieces. So they didn't retrain a broken Megaloo. Wait, is this... No. What is this in? Uh, Supreme Darkness. They had one job, and it was to give us a broken Megaloo retrain. I don't know if they did have that job. That would have been a pretty full... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is very upsetting. Whatever that was, don't ever say it to me again. It's very um, so they get a retrain of Poseidra, because the original Poseidra is garbage. Not yep. uh, so it's level 7. Uh, send a one other water monster from your hand or face up field to the graveyard. Special summon this card from your hand. If it's normal special, send an Atlantean or Mermal from deck to the graveyard. Target one card your opponent controls, return it to the oh, hand. God, uh, your opponent's monsters cannot target this card for attacks while you control a monster other than itself. Uh, and then a new a retrain. Hmm? The quick effect? The send to pop bounce? Nah. Oh, that sucks. It's just another bit of removal off turn. It's fine. Um, turn. This is just... It's too many oh, cards sorry, for it to be turn. a competent going second deck in this modern game. Don't, we're not, geekies at three! Trying to retrain <laughs> Tempai. Good luck having space for it with all of yeah. this shit that you're putting in your deck. Like, we don't need off turn removal anymore. <laughs> like... So... Hey. Then they have a retrain of Abyss Tri. Oh, uh, so the rank three, there is now the Abyss Tri Atlantean Spirit. Uh, two plus level seven waters. Why are you rolling up the map? Because I don't like this support. Moving on. <laughs> uh, so if this card is Xyz Summon, target a oh, level seven or lower fish, sea, sea serpent, or aqua monster in your graveyard, special summon it. Water monsters you control gain 300 attack and defense for each material attached to this card. Detach a material from this card, set an Abyss trap from your deck oh my god and we've got an xyz that does what the old support already did yeah oh no this you can't is, improve upon it's perfection it's so good 
Yeah, but the other one was hard to make because it needed level threes, and all the level threes in Mermau no, were fantastically shit. Didn't this fucking like one of the others get you the trap? No. Oh, what did Gaius get you? Gaius got you nothing. I swear there was a way to add a bisphere. That was off Megalo. Megalo, yeah. Exactly. There you go. You can already do it. Done. What Wait, other can? What other traps do you want? Maybe the new one. The new one. It's gonna be also shit. Uh, draw cards equal to the number of different types among fish, sea serpent, and aqua monsters you control. Or maximum of also, three cards. special summon monsters from the extra deck until and the end of the next turn. Yeah. Oh no, locked into water in Mermals. What the fuck will I do? Uh, if a face up water monster you control is destroyed by battle or card make effect, Zeus. while oh, this no. card is in your <laughs> graveyard, you don't need to make Zeus. You can banish this card from your graveyard, add a Mermal from your graveyard, or banish it to your hand. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. No. I mean, if, if the new card pitched it to graveyard, from deck, maybe it'll be good. There were some really the, cool. The, yeah, the recursion is a good bit of that. The there draws... were some really cool old abyss traps as well. They just never got played because they never had the resources for it, which could see play now. Like I want to say one yeah, of them was like abyss kraken, or it had like a picture of like a little squiddy thing. Huh. Oh yeah. This I remember is... that trap being really good. It just never oh, oh, had. I don't remember. I vaguely remember. I don't remember it being good. This is the embodiment of modern Konami support for decks that you actually want to be good, but are just shit support. Where they've gone, you know what, Mermal really needed us to give them one card for going second and two cards for going first. Good luck. How many Mermalers are out there? Let me know. No one ever lets me know. Yeah, no one ever so wants to be a Mermaler. I did. I, and as such, I don't think that the support's that bad. I think you're just very, like, boomer mentality and you just want the deck to do what it used to do. You wanted to fuck that fish. Excuse you? Exactly. That's a throwback, isn't it? It's callback? Yeah, it's a something. I can't remember what the callback is, but... We'll remember. Like, we'll remember the, like, we'll remember the other abyss traps. I mean, I could abyss search sphere. them, but... That's the only one. Like, the there's sucks. other abyss traps! But you you fucking boomer! You never played Move the fuck any on. of the other ones. You need to let go. <laughs> I'll let go. Let go of ever acknowledging this deck existed. Can't wait until Pack tops with it. And you know Pack will play it because he was a Mermail player as well. A Mermail. How do you know that Pack was a Mermail player? Because I lost to him playing Mermails in the fucking COVID thing I was playing oh. in. It's one of the reasons I hate him. <laughs> Jake's never told this, this is therapy. I have absolutely told people this before. Did you just know? weren't listening because I mentioned Mermail and your brain went, Oh, oh Best Scored! I remember this card. It sucks. Does it? I when the set card decent. is sent to the graveyard, target one monster your opponent controls to send that card to the graveyard. Target one, one Mermail. What? Well, I just had a fucking logo moment there. <laughs> Taiwan one Mermail gets a thousand. <laughs> that's pretty bad, Jake. <laughs> there must be another one that's decent then. Uh, and um, Squall. Oh yeah, I remember Squall. Target three Mermail monsters in the graveyard, special summon those targets in defense position. Their effects in the game cannot declare an attack, destroy them in the end phase. Oh my god. Yeah, okay, they're fairly trash. Oh, there's abyss traps. <laughs> oh, there's abyss traps out there, I swear. Yeah, well, I'm not wrong, there are abyss traps. It's just See, even I Michael them Jackson being acknowledges that the abyss traps were bad. <laughs> Well, he's in the abyss, okay? <laughs> he doesn't get a say. <laughs> We're moving on. To talk about another one of Ben's, I'm sure, fucking decks that he randomly hates for reason. Sharks! Oh, fuck. Oh, to be fair, to be fair, I hate sharks more. <laughs> you know, he could have just led with the sinful spoil stuff and I wouldn't be like this cranky. No, he's save the good shit to the end. He's leading with shit cards and he insists on reading all of them. And we're just gonna Can we cut back to two years ago on this podcast when I say we don't read shit cards, Jake? But how will we know if they're shit or not until we read them? If only By we, not acknowledging them. We need to do pre-prod again. Yeah, Again's a strong word Pre-prod? There. Pre-production. Like we need to run, th- run through, read some cards, actually do our jobs for once. Anyway, we're only at actually, 25 minutes. Actually, is a strong word too. We're only at 25 minutes. Anyway, it's a nice water extender. That's forever. And apparently they don't want to listen to it anymore, so I will it's move shit. on. Look, it's sorry to the sharkers card. out there. <laughs> They're not sorry. Oh, yeah, maybe I should like the sharkers. They're not sorry. If you're a sharker, find their address and kill them. <laughs> I thought that was the joke. 
I thought that was just a visual gag for the uh, the, the viewers at home. No one acknowledges our visual gags. Yeah. Except one person because they want um, to dress up uh, noisy aircon like a little waifu, and that's gross. Yeah, we gross. should get it a sailor outfit. I've changed that that uh, intro for noisy aircon every week I know. for the past two years. Mm -hmm. I know. The oh, listeners oh. don't know, do they? Yeah. They didn't know about the existence of noisy aircon. It's, a, it's nearly noisy aircon season too. Not that we really? used it last year. Yeah. Anyway, we'll move on to the shit that people want to hear about. The <laughs> retrain... Oh, not even the retrains. The second run of the support for Azamina and for White Forest. Um, so, I'll be honest. I had... After they announced Azamina, I stopped acknowledging its existence until it came out. I completely didn't realise that they just get free special summons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those fusion material... Those fusion monsters are free. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We've talked about this. Yeah. I haven't acknowledged so it. So, you didn't... See, it, it this is in... why I don't talk to you about archetypes, because you, like, just don't think of no, them. You put, you put it, like, to the it goes into oh. my brain, and then three, I go, well, this, I wouldn't have to worry about this for three months, out it goes. What it does is, like, it checks boxes. Is it six Sam? Is it Light Sworn? Is it fucking Dragon Maid? Yeah. No? Forget. I'll worry about it when the set comes out. Fuck me, dead. Yeah, he's dead. That's the thing, he doesn't even really care that much about Snake Eye. I don't, no. I've been playing Snake Eyes for, what? The longest time. <laughs> it's been like nine months now. Yeah, I've some form of Snake Eyes. Yeah, I'm sick of that shit. And the deck is still here. I love it. Woo! I'm going back to playing Snake Eyes. So anyway, am I allowed to read these ones out? Yes! Yeah. LZ. I don't know what these ones do. Oh, Azamina LZ of the White Forest, level 2 Light Illusion well, This is a White monster. Forest card. It's both. It said White Forest. The first word I said was Azamina, <laughs> you fuckhead. Azamina cards are unsearchable. White Forest cards are. Both are. Reveal this card in your hand. Special summon a White Forest or Azamina monster from monster. your hand. During your main phase, you can fusion summon one Azamina fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters in your hand or field as material. Oh, that's bad. What's cut is? Yeah, but the other Azamina stuff just lets you do it for free. This requires you to actually send material. You I may, spit on this. You may <laughs> note, Ben, that there's other Azamina cards both existent outside of the negate that was in the first run, as well as in this very announcement that also, may make this relevant. And also, this very card. <laughs> <laughs> if we get to the second and third effects. Also, stop getting so angry. In three weeks, if I ask you about this card, you're not going to remember. No. So just shut the fuck up Dude, and let me read the card. Know, you know why I won't remember this stuff? Because my brain's going to go, ah, oh, it's fine, the Snake Eye stuff that makes this it's, any good is going to be gone by now. It's not any of these <laughs> boxes. Anyway, if this card is sent to the graveyard as Synchro Material, add one Sinful Spoils card from your deck to your hand. Oh, no. It's so going to be banned by now. Yeah. <laughs> so then, no, no. There are so many Sinful Spoil cards other than the ones you are currently playing. So then, yeah, but the others don't do anything. You're making me angry! <laughs> so then you grab Deception, then you get a free fusion as well. So you get a... You get a a Both material are. fusion, and then yep. you get a free fusion. Okay. When does your flame burge get summoned? <laughs> oh, I think you I'm could about go, to have an aneurysm! You could go original in there. Instead. Well, actually, actually... So, I also, I was month. really yeah. hyped on this card. And then, and then you didn't realise it wasn't tuna. It wasn't a tuna. If this card's a tuna, like... Oh my god. It can't be a tuna. There's no synchros in White Forest. Well... He's not wrong. <laughs> Why would the White Forest Azamina card need to not support Synchros? Next. Next card. Sinful Spoils of the White Forest. Uh, if you control a Fiend, Illusion, or Spellcaster, activate one of these so effects. Oh, I love this card. No, it is a quick play spell. spell. <laughs> ah. Mm. I thought it might have been a tuna. Activate one of these effects. Special summon one fiend, illusion, or spellcaster monster from your hand. Fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as material. S if this Generic card is... sinful spoils fusion. And then standard white forest effect if it's sent to the graveyard to activate a monster effect, set this card. This card would have been a great tuna. Play the deer bell. You're a fuck. Quick play spell. If a spell spells or trap traps is sent to the graveyard to activate a card or effect, send one illusion or spellcaster monster from your hand, deck, or extra deck to the graveyard. 
During your main phase, banish three spell or traps from your graveyard, including this card. Special summon one Diabelle monster from your hand or graveyard. Oh. It's going to summon Snake Eyes Diabelle stuff. So, I'm, I'm start, I can't really comprehend how a, a Snake Eyes Diabelle Star White Forest as a Mina deck looks without all the generic link stuff. It gets filled with so, fusions and synchros, but you don't have any tuners to make your synchros. You have so like, many tuners. Please shut up. I like that. <laughs> you have no tuners. So yeah, you were swimming in tuners. This it's white just, forest this, support this gave us nothing. This one <laughs> LZ I've announced is not a tuner, <laughs> and in your mind, this synchro deck's useless. We don't, well, I don't think we need to touch on the trap, though. Let's get to the second part. It's a trap. Yes, because right after this, there was a second run. A second run? Yeah. Any tuners? Uh, maybe no. not. But this is what you spoke. These are the fusion things. What happened to White Forest, man? Kurt loved that shit. <laughs> We're not even near the We're end. <laughs> I'm filled with so much rage. Now Tom loves White Forest. Queen of the Azamina, level 8 Dark Illusion monster. Uh, it's always treated as a sinful spoils card. I was going to say always treated as a tuner. Oh. <laughs> if this card is sent to the graveyard or banished from your hand or field to activate a card effect, Oh, buy an activated card effect, I should say. Uh -huh. Especially summon this card. Uh -huh. When your Azamina or White Forest monster destroys an opponent's monster by battle, target a sinful spoils spell or trap in your graveyard, add it to hand. Uh, Snake Eyes, Darn. I would ask Snake if that card's good or not, but you tell me it's bad because cards that activate so battle phase are bad. The character in there, have we seen her before? No. Interesting. Queen of the Azamina is new. Uh, and then we have Snake Eyes Damned Dragon. Yeah. Level Damn 8 Dragon. Fire Dragon Fusion Effect Monster. Well, level um, eight. Level 8. eight. Uh, Snake Eyes Monster and an Illusion Monster must be either Fusion Summoned or Special Summoned by sending two face up monster cards from your spell and trap zone to the graveyard. Damn. <laughs> I can send my Fiendsmith cards. You so now back rows are tuners. <laughs> it's making your fusion. <laughs> if this card is Special no, Summoned, no, target. No, no. Synchros are just white contact fusions. Sure. If this card is special summoned, you can target one face up monster on the field, place it in the owner's spell and trap zone as a continuous spell. And then we have Saint Azamina, level 10 Wait, dark. That, was, did, was that on summon that does that effect? On yeah. summon. If this card is special summoned. Is any of the cards have announced quick play fusions? Yes. That Azamina chick? That's, is that the only quick play fusion? You mean no. the, quick, the quick play spell, the simple the spell? The spell that we were halfway through announcing before you said it wasn't a tuner and therefore you <laughs> didn't hear about it. wasn't a tuner, so it's not good for White Forest and that's all I care about. Perhaps, if you listen to things in context, they make a lot more sense. There's a quick effect fusion in the set that we just got. Yeah. There's a few. Is there any tuners in the set we just got? We need that White Forest support. That's good white forest I support. wish I was that was a tuner. This is bad white forest Please, support. Please, Jerome, a it. Oh, does as that, so does that Flame Burge Dragon uh, summon back two from Grave? No. When it goes to Grave? No, but the uh, Flame Burge that you placed in your back row in order to summon it does. That's implying that the card's still going to be legal. Saint Azamina, level 10, Dark Illusion, Fusion, Effect Monster. Attack is zero, defense 4,000. Can uh, it be Shrove a battle card effect? No. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. How about yeah. you allow me to read the effect? Uh, so, it, it needs a level 6 or higher fusion monster plus a level 6 or higher synchro monster. Uh, you, can use the synchro monster? you can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. Your opponent cannot target this card... Uh, hang on. Your opponent cannot target this card, cards they control, and cards in the graveyard and banishment with card effects. Yeah. Also, so they take any damage you would have taken instead. Yeah. So it's um, the equip play, the equip spell. Sorry? Uh, remember the equip spell that you used to play in Infernoble to lock your opponent out of being able to do uh, anything? Uh, Metal Silver Armor? Yeah, it's Metal Silver Armor. Yeah, it yeah. is very much that. Uh, but also Bubel. Um, if this card was... <laughs> <laughs> Stop your opponent from targeting their own shit. Yeah. yeah. Bubel does that? No, no, no. The exactly. other bit. The damage bit. Oh, that doesn't matter at all. What matters is, you know how relevant it is when you stop your opponent the, from targeting cards in their graveyard? The like, that is going to floodgate a lot of shit. And you're going to hate this card. Yeah. I'm going to play this and card. And also, yeah, you just summon it. Okay. It just, it's, Jake's playing floodgates. It's Mark that. No, no. Mark that off. I'm just playing to the archetype of, I play purple card. Yeah, it's floodgate. 
Like yeah, it. now Snake Eyes has purple. He's all in... If this card was fusion summon this turn, quick effect, special summon one level nine or lower as a mana monster from your deck or extra deck. It's going to be really hard for Jake to play Archetype when he refuses to normal summon Snake Eyes Ash. How are we going to... So... Hitting Flame Birch is the solution. Yes. yes. But do they do it before this? Exactly. Yes. This is the branded fusion issue all over again. Maybe uh, you can't hit branded fusion until they're finished giving all the law. What's yeah. the XZs? The XZs is kick ass bug goblin bikers. Uh, I've been told about this XZs. Two plus level six monsters. Uh, you can only use the first and second effects once per turn. You can target face up monsters your opponent controls up to the number of goblin monsters you control. Detach one Xyz monster from your monster, and if you do, attach those targets to this you card sure as material is, instead. So you detach that X, one Xyz zero from your monster? Yep. Yes. Why did they just change the way goblin bikers function for this support? Huh? All the other goblin bikers are just detached in Xyz material. So you can detach from your opponents. I don't know, maybe it's a little broken to detach from your opponent's monster to then Steel? attach it to something else. Yeah, I don't have any issues with this, sir. I mean, you're right, it seems like a kind of a <laughs> dick move considering they're not doing all that much anyway in the current state of it, so you could have given them that busted thing. It doesn't... Maybe if I read out the second effect, it'll make more oh, sense. Also, well, you wouldn't want to detach... You wouldn't want to detach a material because you take the XE... You take the monster and all other materials, right? And attach it? No, you just no, take, no, it's just uh, attaching you just take the, the monsters. monsters. Oh, yeah, so you don't yeah. really... Yeah, it's neither here nor there, then. Yeah. It don't matter. The game plan is you detach from Zeus for cost, so they can't respond with it. It doesn't yeah. detach for cost, though. The others all detached for cost. No, they don't. Like, the, all the other Goblin Biker effects that go I detached was, to Special I, Summon. I was literally watching and playing against the deck last night. They do not detach for cost. Okay. Anyway. I activate my affected hand. Do you have a response? To Jake's a goblin detach? biker? More than Ben? No, no I just watch... What a twist! I just watch things and read things and learn things. Ben hears things, ejects He's a things. Goblin biker. Yes. Second effect of the kick-ass goblin bikers. During we your opponent's turn, quick effect, too. target cards your opponent controls up to the number of goblin Xyz monsters you control. Detach three Xyz materials from your monsters, and if you do, send those targets monsters to the graveyard. Your monsters. Mm. Oh no, they're balancing my goblin bikers. Fuck. Yeah. Whatever will I do? Well, that's, I mean, that's, it is a fair complaint. And then finally, Azamina Unleashing. This card is always treated as a White Forest card. It's a trap. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and we're still reading it. Impressive. Target cards on the field up to the number of Fusion and Synchro Monsters, oh. Fiend, Illusion, or Spellcaster you control, yeah. and in your graveyard, return them to the hand. Yeah. If this card is sent to the graveyard, activate monster effects at this card. So, it's an interesting run of support, no. whether Ben thinks so or not because of their supposed lack of tuners. That has a floodgate. You now have an end monster. 4,000 defenses. The, the contact fusion with the back row is really cool. Yeah. That, um... The the Cartesia, I like. It's actually not that easy to get two in the back row. Look, it, it gets Chimera all up and firing, so that's all I care about. It will be fun to see what actually happens with it. Oh, it'll be, still be bad. Oh, yeah, because there's no tuners. How do you make all these crazy synchros? Oh, no, no. Well, I mean, with the Chimera stuff. You can do some cool shit. No, it has no tuners, it's bad. Yeah. Bad. For that fusion to be easily Speaking of bad, after oh, well, I mean, Ash and Poplar in the game. Will you do like if you're are you gonna are you gonna go into this fusion world? Are you gonna are you gonna I'll see how it works. It might mean that I have to pick up White Forest stuff, which would be a massive pain in the ass. Yeah. I'm sure that stuff's worthless. I'm pretty Maybe sure you don't need any, any new synchros or tuners in any of this White Forest sure support. All he has made of Snake Eyes like you don't need any yes. stuff. Oh my god. Hmm? Yeah, Tom only wanted the runic stuff anyway. Yeah, but Tom has the high rarity stuff. I'm not. It's not high rarity. It's not Didn't you sell him all your QCRs? It's it's ben, stop talking over me in whispers. I'm reporting directly into the line. Context of what's happening. This is uh, ASMR. <laughs> Speaking okay. of bad support, we have another run of Metal Morph cards. Oh, yeah. Uh, so this one is Metal <laughs> Flame Sword. Ben, shut the fuck up! I can't believe we're reading this. Why not? There's a couple. There's a couple of comments to attach to this, I think. Okay, off you go. 
So, uh, cannot be normal summon to set. This is Metal Flame Sorbon, by the way. Level 6 machine, uh, for some reason. Um, he's Metal Morphed. Of course he's a machine now. Uh, cannot, must be, be special summoned with max Metal Morph by attributing level 5 higher warrior monster. Uh, it, do, 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 reveal so this card in your one. hand. Uh, add one card that mentions max Metal Morph from your deck to your mm -hmm. hand, except itself. And if you do, shuffle this card into the deck. Uh, each time your opponent oh. activates a Carter effect while it's on the board, uh, this card gains 300 attack, and if it does, inflict 500 and damage to them. Was it Ethan that said this? That, yeah, it's actually not Flame Souls and support, it is actually Max Metal Morph support. And by the card that you just read, that makes sense. Yeah. Poor Flame Swordsman, what a bitch. Yeah, Don't read no, the next card. nothing to do with that. Um, I don't hate the trap, but yeah, I can understand why I don't read it. Why was um, it not... What? I have two issues with this. A, it sucks, and B... For some reason, he did not have a guitar. When did it should have been heavy metal flame swordsman? He yeah. should have had a guitar. Mm. The sword should be like yeah, like a sword guitar. Yeah, like an axe. Yeah, just like in the show. That wasn't in the show. Heavy metal musician king. Again, wasn't heavy metal. It was just Musician King. No, no. no he, he equips he, it with Metal Morph yeah. and becomes Heavy Metal he's, Musician King. He's said this Does a few he? times. He's, he's, yeah. yeah um, wasn't it Johnny Steps that did it? Yep. Johnny Steps. Anyway, it's anime garbage. I don't care. OTS 26 has been announced. He started that combo with sending Witch of the Black Forest to the graveyard and he didn't trigger its effect to add. What's he going to add? He already has his boss monster. That's why he lost the duel. So, OTS 26, uh, I don't know if we have a release date for it yet, but I'm assuming soon. 17th. Ah, there we go. So it'll be out this week. Oh, it's heavy for, metal. <laughs> for everyone except for us. <laughs> he made a funny joke, we'll get it in four fucking months. Yeah. So, the three ulties, we already knew Lo, Prayers of the Voiceless Voice. Uh, the two that we didn't know that we're getting are Diablo Star, the Black Witch, and the Phantom of You Bell. Why is the Phantom of You Bell getting another printing? Why are we getting Dark Witch? That's another one that probably shouldn't get another printing. Yeah, I get like, yeah, that kind of shits on the Bonanza um, printing. And <laughs> yeah, Phantom, like, yeah, I, I guess all the Battles of Legends are sold, so they're going to shit on that. But, but like, it's not, even like uh, compete, it's not even competing with the, the product sales because it's meant to be specialty product. Yeah, but it's more of like, now that's, now the, this is the new highest rarity and probably the better looking one, in my opinion. All of those people that are chasing Magias are now going to have a less value out of their boxes to sell. Yeah, so people chase that, leave the other one, eh, not here nor there, I guess. Um, and then a couple of the supers, at least. Uh, we've Magia got in the uh, anyway. Backjack, uh, Ancient Gear Frame, Lantern Shark, Bloodshot Shark, uh, Samurai Destroyer, Moon of Closed Heaven, Chicken Game. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Uh, Chicken Game, Ostinato. Um, yeah, a bit late. Is Sungan summoning? Don't take it though. Yeah, Sungan summoning. Yeah. Activate Ostinato is still full Snake Eyes combo. Uh, Fire yeah. Sorcerer. It's a full White Forest combo though. Oh no, sorry. Fire Sorcerer. Maybe is a they combo. have an Xyz. I don't know. Um, and then, yeah, disappointingly, Abyss Megalo, Shapina, and oh, uh, a... Shien all getting commons. commons. I don't know why they reprinted the fucking Norse gods. Yeah. It feels like they're so planning on some nonsense. They reprinted Norse Gods. Were the Norse Gods in the Legendary Dragon decks, or were they in the next one? Oh, yeah, good point. I they think just, they were in the next one. Okay, because they just reprinted the Legendary Dragon decks. They were in the, the, war they were in the Warrior ones. Okay, I think so they were alongside the next, PK. the next one they're going to reprint. I feel like that reprint was not necessary. Yeah. Yeah. What was the first super that you said? The first super I said was Backjack. Oh, what was the second? Ancient Gear Frame. Yeah, that's when I start listening. <laughs> I'm so glad that I'm valued on this podcast and people hey, listen, listen to the ultis. me. There's just there's just a little blip of time that I was doing something. Like it's not a bad OTS pack. Yeah. Just... But by the time we get it, it's gonna be a bad OTS pack. Yeah, well uh I mean I imagine wanted to be limited in January. So Jail Star will still be a couple of bucks, but I actually think that they probably should have done the ulti wanted. And not Ulti Diablo Star. Ulti Wanted would have looked so much nicer. Yeah. Mm. Ulti spells. Just do both. Do both. Fuck low off. Yeah. The thing is, Voiceless Voice will become good eventually. It's mm. just... It just needs, it everything, needs, else needs everything else to get worse. Yeah. 
Like not even You know the amount of decks that we've said this about and have just never ever ever been playable. Yeah, like it's Oh it's playable. It's good for locals. Never been good. That's it, it's good for locals. I don't think it should get an ulti because it's yeah. Uh, it's it's a fine deck. I shouldn't shit on it that much, but I hate it. It's it's rituals, is eh. bad rituals. When are we getting the Cross announcement? What do? When's the Necroz trap? I mean, soon. next week. Next week will be. Where's Necroz trap, Jerome? You would assume it's soon. Where they where they um, link low and Necroz up, you know. Uh, and then just quickly, we got the Horror announcement fair. for the double fusion spell. Uh, it is awful. Uh, it is a waste, and we'll probably get that one real soon because it's so bad. Mm -hmm. um, Woo! Yeah, we won't and then just quickly Camellia. as well for the OCG, they've announced a quarter century art collection, which seems to be a bunch of alternate arts of cards um, being printed again. So that'll be coming out late Feb. Um, that'll be uh, Battles of Legend next year. Woo! Hundred different cards in the set, so I'm assuming they're including all the so normal rarities. It will be uh, filler normal. in our mega tins. Woo! So all the normal arts and the. <laughs> This, Different is, arts, this is just going to be the theme of our Megatons next year. Yep. Yeah, probably. Yep. Uh, but that takes us on to some questions. If you weren't aware, we do have a Discord link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Uh, first question this week comes to us from 6 i 6 What archetype can't you let go of? Um, <laughs> is it for sentimentality? Is it uh, never got to properly play it? Uh, just really like the mechanic. I have no issue with letting go of decks. But also, you still have all of them? Uh, yeah, I don't sell much stuff. Mainly because by the time it's worth me selling it, it's worthless. So I just don't yeah. sell it. <laughs> it just lives in blinders. Anyway, for Jake, it's Mermel. Mermel. You can never let go of it. He still has to read all the cards. He still thinks that Abyss Sphere is not the best trap card in that deck. Squall. Just don't play traps. <laughs> exactly. Make that support redundant. I don't hate the new trap, it's just not amazing. Anyway. Um, I mean, I was lamenting this. Uh, look, scraps have come up a lot in the last month. Five years. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, just once again, just like, oh, Millennium. I can straight away, there's like a board and it helps a lot. And it's like, I can't keep doing this. But it's a whole lot better than what fucking Millennium can do with its own stuff, so it's like, ugh. But it can't be right. It can't be right. Maybe, uh, could just do Crystal Beasts. That's the other one as well. Like, I had the same thought process with both Scrap and Crystal Beasts, where it's like, hmm, this deck has a rank four that can make it way more consistent. What makes rank four? Mm. Raz Raziel soon? Raziel, yeah, yeah, true. Raziel Crystal Beast? <laughs> <laughs> then you quickly fusion into the um, the new Snake Eyes as well. Surely Raziel locks your Dexies. Surely. Find out soon, I guess. Um, for me, I and, mean, sorry. Invoked is one of them. What? Scrap Raptor released four years ago. Three years ago. Four years ago? Four years ago. Hmm. Three years ago. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Three and a half years ago. <laughs> mm -hmm. Would have been nice Thank in you. August. It would have been great in August. We're getting mm -hmm. August support. Except if you got Valid, you would have been fucked. <laughs> in Valid now, you're fucked. In a bad way. Except for Imseti. Imseti Gord. True. Um, but yeah, there's a few decks that I like to go back to at times and occasionally they get rewarded because they get support. Unchained was one that got some support. It was meta for a while and then it got limited. Um, August, uh, that'll be getting support soon. Um, looking forward to seeing what they actually do. Uh, haven't been rewarded on some of them though. Um, appliances comes to mind, although I was happy to let that one go. I played that one a couple of times and it's like, yeah, okay. I remember many a day when Smoking Jacob would be outside of the game it's being like, appliances cards, appliances. Go and get those appliances. In my peripheral, that looked very different. <laughs> yeah. Did you hear that from the news desk? No. Raziel locks you into specifically rank fours. Hmm. Shocking. Um, 
Yeah, like I keep much much of those decks. I just get too lazy to then play them again. Um, for instance, I want to go back to Dogmatica for a little bit at some point, but I can't be bothered putting that together. Um, I want to try out different variants of Invoked, but too so he's very to sentimental. Either. I'm sentimental. I'm just lazy. Flash busy. Let's go with busy. Yeah, I. I don't know, but then again, like, you also learn new decks as well, to a point. So it's just... Yeah, if I see a mechanic that I'm interested in, I'll play it. But, like, the drive to play the best deck in the room has never been that big for me. I play what I like. And sometimes what I like happens to be meta. Like and meta fist. That. Well, that's all right. Dude, that's... that was not meta. You're it's almost... in the name, Jake. I'm going to want you to use that to transition to the next question. Uh, the next question... Uh, how do you feel about mirror matches at locals? Are they fun or are they soul destroying? Depends. Cashier mirrors are fun. Eh? Just gonna leave that out there. I never. I mean, I didn't play cashier before, right, so. I very rarely have mirrors at locals. I said, no, yeah, you used to insist it was almost like Zoo. Yeah, cash mirrors are like yeah, Zoo. Yeah, that's it's right. fucking brilliant. Then why'd you get rid of cash? Because everyone else stopped playing cash. Uh, well, I sold it because the ban list was coming, and I was like, surely they put Fenrir to one. Yep. That never no. happened. <laughs> what was it? Uh, Unicorn to two? No, no, they banned, they banned Ry a Ryzard. Ryzard? One of them. Whichever was, the fucking one yeah. was. They limited it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that first. <laughs> uh, I was just like, they, they have to ban Fenrir, or limit Fenrir. To this day, Fenrir is still at three. The card's absurd. It really needs to go at some point. Uh, it wasn't necessarily a mirror, but it was happened on recording of what would be soul destroying is if both you and your opponent are playing sixty cards. Yeah, <laughs> see, I title those videos as uh, one is Ter Element and the other is Lax One. I don't title them as mirrors because I don't want people to think that they're just mirror matches. Um, but yeah, that when, would be. When was this? What? I went up like two days, two days ago, three days ago. Uh, every single time. Oh, this is when I was versing Logan, right? Yeah, I always title those videos as Ter Element vs. Lax One. So you playing grass? You were playing grass? Yeah. 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 Um, More than fifty percent of our locals was playing grass on Tuesday. Yeah. Because yeah, like for Millennium, I'm just going to bump up to like like to have less bricks, like fifty two or something, no grass, and just be like, oh, they won't be able to grass me. <laughs> I mean, with fifty two, we still grass eight. Yeah. Not if Three. I. Hmm. That's they also draw a hand. Looks. They have to draw a hand as well. Yeah. So I'll bump up to sixty then. That's what you're telling me. Sixty. Well, yeah. Million. If you want to mitigate grass, you have to play oh, the yeah. same number. <laughs> oh, but a mill eight is better than mill twenty. Yeah. No. Wait. Yeah, from from the perspective of not the grass player. Oh, sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I get it, but like, yeah, you said, oh, I'll just turn off that grass. It's like, yeah. no, you'll make it worse, but it's not off. Yeah. I didn't draw grass today. It made me very sad. But um, you need to still draw the cards into grass, so your deck would be thinner. You would get less mills. Just open it. Yeah, let's open the one of. I do. It's the only time I see it, because I'm not playing the fucking um, left arm package. Can't set it. Yeah, I know. Where, where am I supposed to put my Sully Yeah. <laughs> um, where are you meant to put it? On occasions, mirrors can be very fun. Ask Richard Gear. <laughs> I don't even know if our viewers will be young enough, or old enough rather, to get that reference. <laughs> Kurt has no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, he has no clue. Um, yeah, mirrors can be very fun. Um, I did enjoy... Uh, tier mirrors to a point. Um, branded mirrors were tricky. Um, pre gimmick puppet, at least. Did you have Ash Blossom? Oh, you won. <laughs> tier mirrors were fucking cancerous. See, I like how shit they were. It was a mess. I, I love that, that period, but there was no like it felt so, so fucking long. Yeah, and there's I loved the chaos. It was so RNG. I loved, I loved it. It, <laughs> it was great. <laughs> ben just was, it, was, was it a good game? No. And that's why I loved it. <laughs> See, 
Ben wanted to just play chess with his Cash Tiran matchup where he moves a piece forward, they move a piece, and it's like this literal back and forth. I was very much for a water bomb fight where you weren't sure where you're throwing shit. Let's go You gambling. just sort of hope you hit the thing that you want to hit. It's seven just times out of ten that it explodes in your hand. Oh, yeah. You made your opponent mill, and then they went down our winning because you made go them back. mill. Oh, I milled your ghetto. <laughs> hey, we keep going. Like you know. Um, yeah. We've definitely done that before as well, I'm pretty sure. Thanks for the questions, though. Yes. Uh, next question from uh, Drew six four seven A, which is it? Is that Drew? Yeah, Drew? yeah, Drew is in Discord now. Yeah, um, he heard us mention, or heard me yeah. mention, New York pancakes in the last episode, and he says, as an American, that's not a real thing. I'm certain I've heard multiple places and media reference the existence of New York pancakes. Americans, we want to hear from them. <laughs> Other Americans, Jake wants to hear your opinion instead. I was thinking about pancakes this morning. Although he does prefer French toast over pancakes. Um, his question though, uh, he noticed in the new Abyss, Abyss set they got Mermal support. Is it good? Ben says no. Um, <laughs> After us just uh, yeah, wailing on Mermals for a whole podcast. <laughs> I, think, I think it's fine. It's just not like going to be meta relevant. Really? It is very much sitting in the rogue tier. I am on Rudy's side. I've Googled it. There is no such thing as New York pancakes. Is this a... What's, uh, what's that thing? Mandela? Yeah. Mandela pancakes? <laughs> um, his second question, Drew D, is what's the fastest you've ever driven? Uh, his is 226 oh, miles per hour, uh, which is... That feels a lot. That's a very lot of freedom hot. units. Mm. Many eagles per... Um, Fair and <laughs> That, that is, I need the context as to how I even you were traveling that, that fast. I, to say, I think in freedom units, the fastest I've ever gone is 110 miles. Um, oh, no. Yeah, I think I think I'd be somewhat close to that as well. Yeah. Really? I'm only one. I only hit 150. Yeah. Ish. It was a bit above. Wait, k's or miles? K's. Oh, okay. Well, 150 miles is concerning, isn't it? Well, yeah, that's why I was asking. <laughs> yeah. What was the context in which you hit your speed? Racing. Racing where? Oh. Down south. I used to do some car racing on the side. No, you did car racing. Not in my cars. <laughs> so to say, so. Wait, car racing or cart racing? Car racing. Car racing, yeah. okay. Yeah, go. similar context. I also was doing trucks. Just to go to track days. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta make the delivery. Move out of the way. Get off the highway. <laughs> I'm rolling through. Puts on convoy. <laughs> Um, yeah, mine was forest. similar context. I was on a drive day. Yeah. Uh, I was in the Northern Territory where certain roads are just like, no speed limit, off you go. Oh, that's true. There is. We a didn't pave it sometimes. Just be careful. Yeah, so I was like, oh, 160 kilometers is about what you want to top at. Uh, uh, in my car. Another question from uh, Drew D. What was your worst moment as a player? Oh, uh, his was losing to a guy with a giant beard in in a top hat and a cape who summoned a utopia monster that reduces your life points to 10 and beat, beat him with it two out of three games. Uh, and that put him at two five at YCS Seattle. So he dropped. Uh, and then he played grass noids in a side event and also did badly. That would hurt. That would hurt real bad. <laughs> Was his name Jack Pabis by any chance? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Jack Pavis is my thing. I right. once dueled against Jack Pavis, uh, and he was playing... Phantom Knight. Yeah, he was playing Phantom Knight, that deck. And he just, like, fog bladed and used all the other traps under my monsters and then just made me sit there while he did his combos and then passed back. And I had a full board and was like, I passed back. He was like... He oh, locked Ben in to do his 10-card make... uh, Rebellion Xyz Yeah, so combo. that he could just fucking slowly get to his finishing point. And I was like, I fucking hate you so much. <laughs> I hate you so much. Yeah. I'm just sitting here with like fucking four, five shitty Pendulum monsters on my board. It's like, hmm. I'm not playing any monsters that are bigger than level four. So uh, yeah, I'm fucked here. Um, there's, there's plenty of bad moments in tournaments and with certain people, but 
as a player, oh, as a player, uh, one I've said before, I let someone gamma me while they had while they had a monster on board. Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. Like, um, and that was like a game three in a winner mat in Melbourne, and that was getting towards the end as well. So, and, I just want to make Drew D feel a little bit better. It could have been worse. Your opponent could have been playing illusions with their top hat. Yeah. Kit, and then after they won, went like, and that was my trick. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> You put your hand up to call the judge, you look back and it's just he's a whole gone. Digimon board. <laughs> like he wasn't even playing Yu-Gi-Oh the entire time. He just throws a fucking smoke bomb and it's different. He's like, oh, shh. <laughs> throws the smoke bomb and you end up at Rose Hill instead of... <laughs> yeah. instead of I suppose he, he cuts your deck yet. and you just start fucking drawing like petite moths. <laughs> oh... Uh, my worst moment as a player, um, I was versing, actually a guy I knew from MacArthur, um, and I set up Orcus board, uh, Pendulum Orcus board, so it was slightly worse than normal Orcus, um, and he proceeded to just lock me under Mystic Mine for the rest of the duel. And I remember when that it happened. Was the angriest I've ever been. That happened for three years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't describe a particular moment in time, did yeah. I? That was no. <laughs> the amount of fucking times that happened that where you'd like build eight. your board and your opponent just go, "Oh, you don't have where to stop Mystic Mind." Anyway, here's a Mystic Mind. Sit on this. Get up by five hundred life points. I now won the duel. Look at my skill. Um, I, I pass back to you for 35 minutes anyway I normal summon a Sky Striker monster now and make Hayate attack for game. <laughs> In that same uh, Oceanics, I was also Fun under Mystic Oceanics. Mine against um, Altergeist, and they had the um, spoofing loop. I remember... Uh, I hated that loop. The first... The, not this New Zealand Oceans, the one before. Uh, so it's three years ago? Two years ago, or however that fucking math works, I was sideboarding the Mystic Mine and Sprite, and there were there were multiple games where game three I just fucking put in Mystic Mine, dropped it, and just went, "Did you side out the out? Oh, you did. Cool, I won. Thank you. Genius. Goodbye." Yeah, we miss you, Mine. Miss you every day. I don't. There's Rest actually in piss. There's a few other. There's a few other terrible misplays in my life that I think about when I go to sleep. Most people have shame reels. I have misplay reels. <laughs> Uh, and then our last question is from Jesse. Uh, what card are you surprised hasn't got a QCR? Uh, personally, his is Fenrir, and for that opinion, uh, bad. No, no, well, no. It needs a, it'll be in the bottom answer. It's got an ulti. What do you want a QCR for when well, you got no, an ulti? That's exactly why it's surprising it doesn't have a, a QCR. Yeah, you've got to devalue all the product <laughs> possible. <laughs> so far, it's only got three prints. Uh, logically now, Konami says that they need to have ten. It does feel like that, doesn't it? Yeah. Even. Ten prints. All rarities. And I want, then ban. I want Fenrir in the really shit ulti. I mean, if it is in Bonanza, it will get one of those ultis. <laughs> and then, hopefully, they ban it. And I don't have to think about it ever again. Just limit it. Not ban. No, it, it's a, not a card that I think is good enough to be banned. But it should be limited. It is a card that should be at one. <laughs> You know a card that should be banned? Birth. Fuck that card. Yeah. They can have a rise out back to three if you ban birth. Ban birth and limit Fenrir. Give them the Xyz back to three. Do whatever the fuck they want. Do we have QCR Ash? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Wait, Rack which Ash do you mean? Ash. Not Feed Ash. No, 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 I think he's talking about Snake Eye Ash. No, Blossom. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like 250 ish dollars a copy. Yeah, I, there's nothing else that's really missing one. That's why the bananas are going to be interesting, because we're going to get some cook shit, Ghost hopefully. Ghost Ogre, normal art. That. Yeah, yeah, normal Ghost Ogre art. Ghost yeah, I still need to... I go with that Ghost Mourner. I still need to match my like fucking Ghost Ogre arts. Uh, my Ghost Ogre... Rarities? Printings. So I've got three original secrets, but you know how like they have that weird dodgy Euro print? So I've got like two regular Euro print and one dodgy Euro print. So mm -hmm. I don't have any US prints, but my Euro prints don't match. No, oh, yeah. It drives me insane. Um, I want more vanilla QCRs. Why? Um, no idea. Don't say that. They're going to give Loki one then. Yeah, I good. I just want to put out into the into the ether of people to comment 
Can someone tell me why there was that dodgy Euro print? Yeah. Like, for some reason, at a point in time, there were three different prints existing. There was two Euro prints and a US print. I want to know why. Can someone who knows what that is please comment? There was a Texan visiting the factory. He's like, yeehaw, make him darker. <laughs> That's normally <laughs> no, what a Texan no, would say. No, no. <laughs> a Texan would normally say the opposite. Thank you for listening and watching. That will conclude us for today. If you are watching along, feel free to like and subscribe. If you're listening, feel free to favourite. Jump into our Discord. Don't say anything racist. And we'll catch you next week. Peace. Yeehaw. <laughs>